Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a quick review for the website Restyle. So this website sells loads of different things, um, bags, belts, sort of clothing, and they also sell jewellery. Now the jewellery is the bit which really stands out for me on the site, so I thought I'd do a sort of like a little haul of all the items I've bought over the past six months. So this is one necklace which I have done um, a quick review for before, um, but I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail. So this was called Raven Funeral. So it has a raven skull um, at the front, behind it has these bat wings, then it has this nice sort of Victorian frame. I have the chain which it comes on on the longer setting, but I do also like to remove the chain and put um, a black sort of cord through and wear it a bit higher, more like a choker. On the back of this pendant it also does have a safety pin which means that it can be um, also used as a brooch if you remove the chain. Now the only thing I found is with this design sometimes this comes undone while you're wearing it as a necklace and it ends up stabbing you in the chest and the other thing because these are very sort of heavy metal designs um, when I have worn them on a jumper before it has left a few little holes in my jumper um, just where it's sort of been pulling down due to gravity. Now these items aren't sterling silver but they do have a sort of finish to them. Um, as you can see on top of the actual skull it started to go a sort of bronzy colour and that's because that is a frequently sort of rubbed area. I do find with um, restyle items the more wear they have they change um, slightly in colour. But I don't find this uh, much of a problem because I do quite like sort of the old, like the aged look that it creates. I did buy this necklace a while ago and it cost me, I think it was around £9. Um, it's very reasonable prices, especially for the complex designs of these um, different necklaces that Restyle make. Um, but it is just something to consider that they aren't selling silver so they're not something that you would want to wear every day and sort of have battling against the elements. So this is the Restyle Death Head Moth. Um, as you can see it is a, obviously a moth shape and then it has a little skull here. I've got this necklace on the middle setting because I do like these um, two sort of like little gem sections to be sort of on my collarbone and then it has also one gem which hangs there. Now something which I didn't realise when I did buy this was that it does have these sort of light blue sort of stuck on gems on the wings. Now these aren't exactly my favourite element, I, don't, I think it sort of takes away from the sort of darker feel of this necklace um, but it does mean it sort of shimmers a little bit more in the light. As I mentioned with the previous necklace, um, this necklace was rather cheap, I think it was around £12, which means sort of the back doesn't really have the nicest finish, um, but this isn't really any problem because these are sort of made as sort of statement pieces and no one really cares about what the back of them look like. <laughs> now this is a perfect example of um, a problem I have with this necklace. These tend to turn round as you move. Um, so sometimes the gems end up facing backwards and this is because of this um, double chain which <laughs> is ironically meant to keep them straight but I find it just ends up twisting them. I am considering maybe removing one of the chains but I don't know if this will sort of throw the balance of the necklace off yet um, so I need to do a little bit more research into that before I completely wreck this necklace. So as you can see there is so much detail put into these necklaces from the spikes around the wings to sort of the beautiful detail within the body. So I think sort of the detail within these necklaces kind of makes up for the fact that they aren't made out of the best material. And um, the only thing is <laughs> because they are so pretty I tend to wear them quite regularly um, and it's just a shame when they start to tarnish. Um, but they are really cheap so there is nothing stopping me sort of buying <laughs> another one. Now the only thing I'd say with this necklace, as you can see it's twisted again, the only thing I'd say with this necklace um, is the spikes round the sort of circle and the wings and then again the circle at the bottom. They are rather sharp and can be quite irritating if you're not wearing a top sort of like this one which is quite sort of high. If you're wearing a low cut top you may find that it digs into your skin a bit. Um, I don't know how well you can see but I have started to get a bit of redness here which is just from when <laughs> I was showing you and it was digging in. So that is something to consider if you're possibly sensitive um, to different sort of textures when it comes to sort of necklaces and jewellery. So this is one of the designs which I bought recently. It does remind me sort of an Egyptian scarab beetle although it is just called a beetle on the website. So I do have this necklace um, on the middle setting for the chain so you can have it slightly lower or you can wear it slightly higher which I think gives like so if you're wearing sort of a more low cut top I think it looks really good as sort of like a statement piece on the chest. 
So as you can see there's loads of detail within the wings and then on these wings it has um, a full moon and a crescent moon and a few other sort of like occult symbols. And then again it has this little pattern on the body which sort of reminded me of the flower of life although it is slightly more straight lines and circles. And much like the death head moth it also does have a little sort of skull at the top. Now again maybe one of my pet hates for Reefstar is that they have made it into a brooch which would be fantastic if it was sort of a lighter material but this just causes holes in all my t-shirts when I wear it just because it pulls down so much and also I do regularly get stabbed by this when it comes undone so maybe if it had sort of more of a safety clasp it would solve this issue. So I do really love this necklace, it is from their most recent jewellery line. Um, I just think it's a great statement piece and I'm always complimented when I've worn it out so far. Another thing to add with the necklaces which have um, sort of the brooch style to them, they do have very large holes um, for the chain to go through, which is great because it means it can be put onto various other chains or cords, so it can really suit whatever sort of look you're going for. So the next necklace I'm going to show you is the lock and key necklace. I do find this one really odd. As you can see, it is just sort of like a regular necklace. However, this key um, is meant to be um, a choker. And then this um, lock or keyhole is meant to be slightly lower. So it's meant to look like this when it's on. But as you can see, there is actually no clasp um, where you'd imagine them to be um, to sort of clip them behind. So when I got this necklace I was really confused as to how it goes on because you can't put it over your head and twist it um, and then I noticed that the actual clasp for the necklace is right next to the little key. I definitely find this one of the most frustrating and fiddly designs for necklaces to try and get on. You have to put it behind your neck and put it on like a normal necklace and then cross them over and bring it round your neck which does slightly choke you in the process. So it's at this point um, you realise that although the prices are very reasonable, it does mean that these necklaces are rather fragile. Um, the clip of mine did actually break the clasp, um, which means I can't actually fully put it on to show you, um, but I can hold you up to sort of show you the effect which it does give. So as you can see, um, the key um, is very tight to your neck and then the actual sort of keyhole hangs down slightly lower and um, the only thing is it does really pull on your neck so um, wearing this for a long period of time can get very uncomfortable. Now what I have done um, when I've worn this in the past is I have put another clip um, around the back and clipped it slightly lower down so the key hung around here which just meant um, it wasn't pulling on my neck all day. Again this is one of Restyle's um, brooches um, so it does have this pin on the back which again I do have the common problem um, of getting stabbed in the chest when wearing this necklace um, but I do think it's a really cute little design so I'm not too worried about that. So the only thing um, really which I dislike about this necklace is the design. I do think they should have put a clasp sort of here and here to make it into a double chain um, so you could just attach it and it wouldn't end up strangling you. Um, but I can totally understand the fact that um, everyone has different um, size necks so the chains would sort of have to make sure they covered everyone's neck otherwise some people would find it really tight and sort of suffocating and some people wouldn't really get the choker effect and it'd be really loose. So. I can see why they did it, it's just a slightly annoying and sort of fiddly way to put on a necklace I find. So um, the next item I got was this ring, you've probably seen it flashing around um, as I was showing you the necklaces and it's just a Ouija board inspired ring. So as you can see it's just in a planchette shape and it has obviously the circle cut out um, where the letter would be and then it has a crescent moon um, at the top two stars and it says Ouija across the middle. Um, it's also sort of painted this black colour. Um, on the band it has again two um, little crescent moons and on this side it says no and this side it says yes. It's really fitting in with the Ouija sort of theme and then right on the inside of the ring just there it says Restyle which again is just the make of all this jewellery I'm showing you. Um, um. So much like the other um, piece of jewelry I showed you, this is not sterling silver, it's just a coated metal, um, which means 
that it has the potential to sort of change colour and possibly turn your fingers green if you do wear this ring for too long. I tend to only ring wear this ring sort of like 12 hours at a time so I haven't had any sort of like problems with my fingers turning green but with rings I do generally stick to sterling silver for my everyday rings so I am trying to only wear this sort of on special occasions but um, I just thought I'd show you. It's also very comfortable, like with some rings I do find they get caught but I haven't had any problem with this. Um, the only thing is that the sizing on the site, you need to make sure you properly measure your finger um, before buying it because as you can see it's slightly too big um, but it's not really too much of an issue and I'm thinking of just getting another ring that's um, just going to be a thin band that will stop it from falling off. So this ring was from the same range as the um, Beetle necklace slash brooch. Um, and it has this very sort of like occult sort of moon kind of theme going on um, so this ring does actually go with this necklace as it does have sort of the matching patterns on it so I bought this ring around a month ago and it cost me eight pounds which is pretty good for a ring sort of of this size and detail um, I've had as I said no problems with it and it is from the latest range so it is in stock at the moment so I have done a review of this hair clip before, um, it's sort of like a steampunk moth um, and it is um, just sort of one of these types of hair clips um, and as I did mention before it's very heavy so it's best to have sort of a hairband in your hair to sort of root it on top of but I do absolutely love this hair clip. So as you can see there's an incredible um, amount of detail on here. Um, you've got sort of like, uh, sort of they look a bit like nails, you've got screws here and you've got obviously all these cogs um, and it does give it this very sort of steampunk vibe. Um, again this is not um, sterling silver so I wouldn't recommend sort of wearing it um, in the shower, not that you'd wear it to the shower um, or maybe in the bath. The only thing is on the black, on the, on the back there is some black. Um, I have no idea what this is from, it does look like it's just almost been sort of tarnished or like burnt. Um, it's, it's on the back so it doesn't matter but I think it is to do with um, how they make all of this print stand out. Um, I'm not really sure the technical name for it but it's almost like they sort of put black on it and then like rubbed off the top layer, polished the top layer. Um, but it does give it such great dimension. So this hair clip is an example of something that's been discontinued on the um, Restyle website. However, you can find it on um, sites like eBay. It is quite hard to come by because it's very sought after, especially in the silver colour, because it does also come in bronze and I think it does also come in gold. Um, but the thing is, you just got to hunt around and they are slightly more expensive. I ended up paying about £15 for mine and that's when it was new off of the website. Um, and now, sort of having a quick browse through eBay, they're around £21. I'm going to attempt to um, put this in my hair and just show you sort of the size um, of the actual hair clip in sort of comparison to my head because it is quite a big sort of statement hair clip. Um, when I ordered it I did only think it was going to be like sort of quite small like a little hair clip um, but I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> So hopefully um, that worked and failing that I will quickly insert a picture from a photo shoot I did um, which featured the moth hair clip. So um, some items from Restyle I call sort of like the classics um, which were sort of like some of the original um, necklaces which they bought out. Many of them I still want to purchase um, but the necklace I'm wearing now is one of sort of the originals which has been discontinued on their site unfortunately but I do believe that they're still in sort of production so they are still making them um, but they are selling them through sort of alternative um, sellers so you know sort of eBay, Amazon, some sort of like alternative clothing websites and accessories. So I am wearing this necklace on the largest um, sort of setting of the chain and much like the previous necklace which I showed you um, with the moth it does have these um, two sort of like gems which are sort of attached to the chain and then sort of um, attaching the chain to the I guess the pendant itself. 
So the design of this, I'll start from the top. It has a um, couple of bones and a cross. It then has these hearts, which I think sort of don't really fit in with the whole design. Um, but I wear this necklace to, to school because I think it's quite a fun necklace. It's not too dark. And I think that's possibly what these hearts are for, is just to sort of break it up and make it a little bit more user friendly. I don't know if that's the right word, but they have these gems on them. And as you can see, they do sparkle all these different rainbow colours. Now with this one, unlike the moth one I previously showed you, um, it's very smooth, it doesn't dig in on the neck, so I never get sort of any irritation from that. Um, the only possible irritation which I could get is from the wings of these two swallows that are coming down. Now I don't know how well you can see. These are actually skeleton swallows, so they've got um, two little skulls, and you can see sort of their rib cage and their spine. Um, and then whatever sort of bones are in their wings and it comes down much similar to the one I also just showed you it has a little um, keyhole which it isn't cut out unlike the other one which I do I think it would look really good if it was cut out but it's not anything which is like a game changer <laughs> um, it then has a very beautiful design I think it almost looks like a padlock more than actually like um, a keyhole on a door and then here you've got two keys um, and it has obviously this little ribbon here and just connecting it all together are these bones. So I got this necklace for £10.99 off of eBay. There are so many different sellers at different prices so you've just got to have a good look around and find something that's suitable for you. So obviously if you live in America or Europe or Asia, um, wherever you're sort of located, you can find a seller that probably um, is stocking Restyle. Restyle is a Polish company. So if you live in Poland, you're more likely to find sort of cheaper sellers because that's where sort of um, the company is located. So they don't need to worry too much about shipping. But for example, if I was buying this from an American seller, it would cost me about £12 more than if I just bought it from an English seller because I don't have to pay for sort of the shipping and the custom charges. So I have got two more necklaces to show you, um, but I didn't want to end on a downer, so I thought I would show you this one first. Now this is a necklace which I bought a couple of weeks ago, and as I am giving honest reviews, I am just going to say right now, it has broken. Now I was going to fix it for the video but I thought it was probably more beneficial for you to know this um, rather than sort of pretend that everything is great um, but I did get a full refund for this item. So I'm not sure whether or not um, I'm going to buy another one but I do really love sort of the design. Um, so it has this sort of pedlum sort of hanging down at the bottom and then it has these very thin um, little, they're kind of like long beads and then it comes obviously up to the planchette where it has the the crescent moon again and then the hole for seeing the letters. <laughs> so then at the top the planchette has these um, two holes which means that the chains can sort of branch off around the neck. Um, and this is sort of, um, when, you when, I, when it was on this is sort of situated sort of in line with um, your chest and then this went up over your collarbones. And then on the collarbones it had these crosses. Now unfortunately you can see they've both broken in exactly the same place um, on both sides. And this is because these crosses are actually made out of plastic. Um, it's the only part within the necklace that is made of plastic. Um, the rest is made of metal. So um, the fact that these um, broke both in the same place is not much of a surprise because um, it just shows sort of the difference between the both of the materials. Now these broke um, within transit so I did get my money back um, but just be careful if you do get this um, and it is sort of in a good condition when you get it just make sure you look after it. I wouldn't say wear it when you're doing anything sort of like active. Um, it's more of sort of a showpiece because these bits were very thin and it is not surprising that they did just sort of snap when just sort of getting chucked around in the post. Um, the only other thing to mention is it does say restyle on the back um, and the chain is sort of longer than all the other ones. Also these beads, because they are all sort of linked together with tiny little circles, um, it does sort of snap quite easy. It's very sort of delicate compared to the other ones where I don't mind sort of 
throwing them in a box or just sort of like leaving them on the side I feel like this needs to be sort of carefully hung up and sort of away from anything that it could get tangled into so this is actually rather cheap if you buy it off the site but it's always sold out I found because um, it is from the new range um, and if you buy it off of eBay it is sort of around £20 which is obviously quite a lot for something that could easily break so if I was you what I do is I just sort of set a reminder on the Restyle website and they'll send you an email as soon as it's back in stock Another thing with this which I was slightly disappointed with is sort of the paint as you can see the paint sort of goes on to the Crescent moon I've tried to scratch it off. I've tried a few things But it's just the way that it has been set and then the way it's been painted which is um, quite unfortunate, but it's not too much of um, a worry. I'm planning to just sort of make a chain from here or add some cord and just have this bottom sort of planchette and pendulum, which is a shame, but it it isn't sort of like the end of the world. I can still create a nice piece that will match my ring. So this is the last necklace from Restyle, um, which I'm going to show you. Um, it's almost in the shape of bat wings, um, but then sort of inside it has um, spider webs. I'll just show you slightly closer. So as you can see it does have this sort of spider web um, effect and then it has these three um, they're just sort of like plasticky black sort of gems and then it has these hanging gems which are sort of a more of a diamond cut um, it's very solid it doesn't bend um, which is something to consider if you're like laying down or something it can quite dig in um, it does have sort of double chains at the top because this um, keeps the necklace sort of sturdy now as you can see just from that tiny bit of movement two of these little drops have turned over now it isn't a problem normally because you're not normally like flicking your necklace around um, but if you are sort of leaning forward um, or doing anything too like containing too much movement basically of the upper half of the body it is something to consider that these may get sort of twisted up it is not too much of a problem it just means you know maybe if you're using it for a photo shoot or something just make sure that these are all sort of patted down first but it is a very nice effect it creates um, and I do like the way they all sort of sway when you sort of move um, around the gem it also does have this sort of quite nice little border now this isn't my favourite necklace to wear I do find it quite clumpy um, but it does go very well with some of my outfits especially ones which are sort of more sort of spider themed so it is just some a nice little piece to have it only costs seven pound as well and these are really popular on ebay although they are not sold on the actual restyle website they are still made very frequently so they there's a very high frequency of them around so thank you for watching i'm sorry that my uploads aren't as frequent um as usual i have just started a new job so everything is sort of just getting into routine um, and finding out sort of the best time of which to film um, videos. I am hoping to do a video sort of showing a few bits in my room. Um, I haven't fully decorated but I don't think I'm ever gonna fully be there when I'm really happy with it so I may just sort of do little sections of a tour. I'm not really sure about that. Um, and please leave in the comments below if you're interested in any sort of Halloween hauls. I am doing um, a Halloween swap box with a girl in America. So I can maybe show you the process of putting the box together um, and wrapping up all the things. That won't be up until sort of the end of October because obviously I don't want to put the video up and her see everything I put in her box. Um, but the whole point of it is to be a su surprise so I will show you making my box and then also opening the box I received from America. Um, I do know that within the box I will be getting some American sweets so I will hopefully be doing a sort of like American candy, you know, stereotypical video <laughs> of trying American candy. Um, but I have um, recently been to Poundland and I've got loads of little things like this. I don't know if you can see the bat and the pumpkin, but I am happy to go through those if any of you are interested in what is in the UK stores at the moment. And I should be going to Asda next week, which is the shop I'm most excited for because I always get so many Halloween decorations and just general room decorations from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good week. Bye. Same in peace. And I'm always complimented when I've worn it out so far.
Another thing to add with the necklaces which have um, sort of the brooch style to them, they do have very large holes um, for the chain to go through which is great because it means it can be put onto various other chains or cords so it can really suit whatever sort of look you're going for. So the next necklace I'm going to show you is the lock and key necklace. I do find this one really odd. As you can see it is just sort of like a regular necklace however this key um, is meant to be um, a choker and then this um, lock or keyhole is meant to be slightly lower so it's meant to look like this when it's on but as you can see there is actually no clasp um, where you'd imagine them to be um, to sort of clip them behind. So when I got this necklace I was really confused as to how it goes on because you can't put it over your head and twist it um, and then I noticed that the actual clasp for the necklace is right next to the little key. I definitely find this one of the most frustrating and fiddly designs for necklaces to try and get on. You have to put it behind your neck and put it on like a normal necklace and then cross them over and bring it round your neck, which does slightly choke you in the process. So it's at this point um, you realise that although the prices are very reasonable, it does mean that these necklaces are rather fragile. Um, the cut to go a sort of bronzy colour, and that's because that is a frequently sort of rubbed area. I do find with um, restyle items, the more wear they have, they change um, slightly in colour. But I don't find this uh, much of a problem because I do quite like sort of the old, like the aged look that it creates. I did buy this necklace a while ago and it cost me, I think it was around £9. Um, it's very reasonable prices, especially for the complex designs of these um, different necklaces that Restyle make. Um, but it is just something to consider that they aren't selling silver, so they're not something that you would want to wear every day and sort of have battling against the elements. So this is the Restyle Death Head Moth. Um, as you can see it is a, obviously a moth shape and then it has a little skull here. I've got this necklace on the middle setting because I do like these um, two sort of like little gem sections to be sort of on my collarbone and then it has also one gem which hangs there. Now something which I didn't realise when I did buy this was that it does have these sort of light blue sort of stuck on gems on the wings. Now these aren't exactly my favourite element, I, don't, I think it sort of takes away from the sort of darker feel of this necklace um, but it does mean it sort of shimmers a little bit more in the light. As I mentioned with the previous necklace, um, this necklace was rather cheap, I think it was around £12, which means sort of the back doesn't really have the nicest finish, um, but this isn't really any problem because these are sort of made as sort of statement pieces and no one really cares about what the back of them look like. <laughs> now this is a perfect example of um, a problem I have with this necklace. These tend to turn round as you move. Um, so sometimes the gems end up facing backwards and this is because of this um, double chain which <laughs> is ironically meant to keep them straight but I find it just ends up twisting them. I am considering maybe removing one of the chains but I don't know if this will sort of throw the balance of the necklace off yet um, so I need to do a little bit more research into that before I completely wreck this necklace. So as you can see there is so much detail put into these necklaces from the spikes around the wings to sort of the beautiful detail within the body. So I think sort of the detail within these necklaces kind of makes up for the fact that they aren't made out of the best material. Um, the only thing is because they are so pretty I tend to wear them quite regularly um, and it's just a shame when they start to tarnish. Um, but they are really cheap so there is nothing stopping me sort of buying <laughs> another one. Now the only thing I'd say with this necklace, as you can see it's twisted again, the only thing I'd say with this necklace um, is the spikes round the sort of circle and the wings and then again the circle at the bottom. They are rather sharp and can be quite irritating if you're not wearing a top sort of like this one which is quite sort of high. If you're wearing a low cut top you may find that it digs into your skin a bit. Um, I don't know how well you can see but I have started to get a bit of red. Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a quick review for the website Restyle. So this website sells loads of different things, um, bags, belts, sort of clothing, and they also sell jewellery. Now the jewellery is the bit which really stands out for me on the site, so I thought I'd do a sort of like a little haul of all the items I've bought over the past six months. So this is one necklace which I have done um, a quick review for before, um, but I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail. So this was called Raven Funeral. So it has a raven skull um, at the front, behind it has these bat wings, then it has this nice sort of Victorian frame. 
I have the chain which it comes on on the longer setting but I do also like to remove the chain and put um, a black sort of cord through and wear it a bit higher more like a choker. On the back of this pendant it also does have a safety pin which means that it can be um, also used as a brooch if you remove the chain. Now the only thing I found is with this design sometimes this comes undone while you're wearing it as a necklace and it ends up stabbing you in the chest and the other thing because these are very sort of heavy metal designs um, I, when I have worn them on a jumper before it has left a few little holes in my jumper um, just where it's sort of been pulling down due to gravity. Now these items aren't sterling silver but they do have a sort of finish to them. Um, as you can see on top of the actual skull it started this here which is just from when <laughs> I was showing you and it was digging in. So that is something to consider if you're possibly sensitive um, to different sort of textures when it comes to sort of necklaces and jewellery. So this is one of the designs which I bought recently. It does remind me sort of an Egyptian scarab beetle although it is just called a beetle on the website. So I do have this necklace um, on the middle setting for the chain, so you can have it slightly lower or you can wear it slightly higher, which I think gives like, so if you're wearing sort of a more low cut top, I think it looks really good as sort of like a statement piece on the chest. So as you can see, there's loads of detail within the wings, and then on these wings it has um, a full moon and a crescent moon and a few other sort of like occult symbols. And then again it has this little pattern on the body which sort of reminded me of the flower of life although it is slightly more straight lines and circles. And much like the death head moth it also does have a little sort of skull at the top. Now again maybe one of my pet hates for Restyle is that they have made it into a brooch which would be fantastic if it was sort of a lighter material but this just causes holes in all my t-shirts when I wear it just because it pulls down so much and also I do regularly get stabbed by this when it comes undone so maybe if it had sort of more of a safety clasp it would solve this issue. So I do really love this necklace, it is from their most recent jewellery line, um, I just think it's a great